hello. Yo, Double the morning now. to you all. David on stream. Yes, we yes. now have. Uh, it's still in our. Uh, it's still in the DevOps field. I would say. Neil. We now have uh, Javin Boiru, our next speaker, who is going to talk about Azure DevOps for your mobile uh, release. How are you, Javin? Um, guys, just had my morning coffee, so feeling great. How about you guys? Oh, that's good. That would be very helpful for the presentation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah great. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself. Where, where do you work? Uh, are you so today? I have that's a very good question because I have a slide only for this. I'm just going to switch to that slide. So, yeah, I, I've been a bit lazy here. Just like, uh, I mean, like, most I mean, developers. Like, developer. So that's why this uh, uh, this tagline turns coffee into bread to make the, to have make budget transformation happening. So uh, just before this, just, just before my presentation, I think Vincent, our CEO, uh, talking about it in uh, watch his uh, YouTube streaming later on. So be beginning of next year, we'll be releasing the juice four point zero. So uh, so you have more details on his presentation. I invite you all to watch his presentation. Sure. Okay, we will uh, we will put a note uh, at the end of uh, this presentation. Anyways, Kevin, you can you can start your presentation about uh, DevOps at MCV. Cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. So I just so, so, I just so, so, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I had my cup of coffee. So uh, why why are we doing why this are we doing this presentation? Why using, why using Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps for your mobile, mobile release? release? The thing, the thing is that. Is releasing, that, any releasing any mobile releasing any mobile manually is manually cumbersome. is cumbersome right right so i just gonna so i just gonna take the android, android, app, android, app, android, android app, for example android app, for example so releasing so releasing an android, releasing android, android, android app manually is, like i said cumbersome. like i said cumbersome. you have to build you have to build your app. you have to you have to avail your app bundle you have to find you have to find your key find your key find your sign in sign and step and step through the google console to get it out out of the door and then certainly like for small apps you can do this easily right from from uh, time to time you can do this right, but when it comes to like big application, when it comes to big application, it's quite difficult to manage, right? So in this short walkthrough, I'm, I'll lay out the general steps on how you can use Azure DevOps, and I'll show you what's a pipeline so that in a single commit on your code base, you will be able to to have which it will trigger a new App Store release. So in this presentation, we are going to use uh, App Center. We're not going to release directly to the Google Play or the apps, uh, Apple Store. It's the same step for the uh, Apple Store, so same step for Google Play Store. And you can do this for any type of, you can do this for Flutter, for Android, for Apple, for, I mean, iOS. And yeah, that, that's why we have this logo. I love this logo, like this, this cute guys, <laughs> cute Android logo. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so let's get started. I think today has already talked a bit about me in uh, during this and then uh, yeah so i've been telling you why we cannot do this manually because de developing it manually like uh mostly for a big app it is repetitive if you have to do uh, to do the re uh, release manually it's time consuming and as you all know time is money and most probably you will make some errors right human uh human make errors whereas robot we are not so sure yet so uh normally what you do when you release your app so you build your application in, re in release mode, you sign it using the key store file, and then you save the sign if you then upload it to the uh, to a store. Of course, you can do all, the, all this manually, but again, this is why we don't want to do this, this free reason. So this is where we introduce Azure DevOps. The idea is to automate this process using a really good tool, Azure DevOps. The process is called continuous integration. The interest in using the Azure DevOps is that it can be accessible from anywhere, 
one. Second, you will not be in charge. You will not be charged. I mean, you will not be in charge of server maintenance. You don't have to worry about this. Third, it is not very expensive compared to the gain that it brings on your projects. And third, we now we will create something called a pipeline, which I told you about earlier, that will allow you to generate your APK with just one click. Cool. So how cool is that? Let's jump into the demo. So let's, let me just switch my browser. So let's go. Yeah. Let me know when you can see my browser, but it will be really cool. I'm just sharing my browser. Can you guys see? Yes, your browser is on screen. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, really helpful. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna show you what's a pipeline. So here you've seen that I've been playing with a few pipelines. Yeah, last time was yesterday. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's see how we can release. First of all, uh, before uh, I jump into this, remember that this is an intro. Intro. I'm sorry, I'm bad at this word. But this is an introduction to the uh, to the Azure DevOps and the pipelines. So if you have any more questions later on, this is not an expert session. This is just for a beginner level, so that you can get your hands on and understand how things work. And also after this session, I will send a few links so that you guys can try it on your own. I think the host will pass on the links to you. So let me show you how I did it. So I want to first of all show you what's already here. So I have two pipelines here. Good. I have one is for the PR and one is the build pipeline, the actual pipeline. So if we open the pipeline, here we edit it. You will see here that's a lot of technical stuff, right? But if you are an Android developer, iOS, or any kind of developer uh, for mobile app, you will understand that what we are just basically doing for an uh, Android app, we are just running the Gradle DOS clean assemble debug. We don't have to do it manually on our Android Studio. And then we are just copying the APK to a target folder. Once this is done, we are just publishing the artifact. That's one, that's one of the pipeline. And then once this is done, we run the second pipeline. So I'm going. Here we go. Sorry. Just happy to see the green tick. When you see the green tick here, you should smile because that's, that means good news. Okay, uh, so you see here some red cross. Now let me edit this pipeline. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to show you how to create this. I just want to show you here what, what is already uh, in my pipeline. So again, uh, I'm triggering on the master branch, and then I'm using, this is an agent. My agent is the Mac OS latest agent, which will do the dirty work for me. I don't have to do it manually. Thank you, Azure DevOps and agents. And then this is, this is my DOS. This is very interesting. I will show you that I can use variable in my pipeline. So you will see here variables. Good. And then you can also, so some very, so each time you release a new app, you can automatically increment the version, the build number. So I have commented this one up because I want to show you it later. Also very good is that you can release, you can automate your generation of release notes. So you don't have to type it manually each time. So we are already doing all those. Here, we are finally distributing to App Center, which we'll use. And you will see the App Center where we're just distributing our app. And there is our uh, Android. Good. So if you want to create a pipeline, so you just have to create. It's as easy as this. You click on New Pipeline. So here, what's happening is that let's let's say that you're very you're a very beginner and you want to automate the release of your app. You don't know much about it, and you follow my session, of course. It's very easy unless you follow my session. Yeah, it's very easy, but uh, you can choose it's very explicit so where is your code you can you can choose so i would just select it is an azure repository and here's my app my app my app is an intro app so i'm just going to click on it and it says configure your pipeline okay you, you can choose whether it's a gradle android yeah i know i have a bad android use gradle but still give you the option you can either use a starter pipeline with minimum configuration and or, or also what's very interesting if another team or you know another some uh, you know someone else who has a pipeline which you think you can reuse, you can even use that. 
right? So you can see here uh, existing. So you have a lot of more options. And I'm, I'm going to prove it. You can see here a lot of options. So let's say that you want to do for Android. Just click on Android. As easy as that, right? So you, you will see here that you, uh, you have the YAML file, so the configuration file, so that you can uh, build, help you build your Android. So uh, I'm not going to do it again, so because we already have this. I'm just going to move this here. Good. We already have our YAML file. Cool. So I'm just going to cancel this one. So back to the uh, pipelines. Cool. Now let's go into the details for the for, uh, bin. Open this one and then edit it. Cool. So I was, as I was uh, telling you guys uh, earlier, so uh, we we want to trigger like a build. Well, so whenever we build we build our code, we want to trigger this pipeline. So how it works is that. It's like an introduction demo app. I got this from CodePath, which is a good site which you can refer for any Android stuff. I think there are other stuff also. So you will see here, uh, this is my app which I want to deploy. I don't want to do it manually. So let's see how we can do that. Here, once, once let's say that I have my profile and changes, let's say that I just want to edit this file. I just want to put live demo. The moment I see, the moment I do a change, let's see what happens. So I commit. So guys, never commit on master. This is only for my demo. Good. Let me just commit and see what happens. Good. You see here, you see here I have committed my code. So this, this happens usually when you have another developer or you yourself, you're working on your project and you made some change, right? You just want to make some change, but you don't want to, to go through the step of rebuilding your app again, regularly signing it uh, again, deploying it again. This is very tiring, right? So each time you make a change and you have to do this, damn, this is tiring. So once I've done a commit here, I can even create a pull request and from master to master. So I think you, you won't need it because it is the same, no changes. Good. Now remember, I just made a commit. Now let's see what happened. As soon as I made a commit, you see that the pipeline starts running, right? The first one, I have four right now, but because this one I can cancel, but the top two are the same. I just cancel it. Good. Yeah, so as soon as I made a commit on the master branch, as you've seen, what happens is that the two pipelines start, right? They start running. So let's see what's happening here. Let me go inside. You can see here that my there's a job that has been queued, and you open. You will see that it is acquiring an agent from a cloud, trying to run the job. Cool. Now the job has started. Let's see what's happening. So the PR pipeline. So it's just gonna be in debug mode. If you remember here. Let me go here. If you remember what this pipeline specifically is doing, is that we are just acquiring the agent running on the master and then just running this stores, clean assembly debug. Good. And what you will do next, it should be copying this output file, which is an APK, to our artifact staging directory. And once this is done, it should publish the artifact. So let's see whether it is doing this or not. So as you see here, it has started. It has started a, a Gradle daemon. Apparently, the subsequent builds will be faster, but we don't have enough time for this. Let's see what's happening. In the meantime, what I will do is that I will show you the build pipeline and what all the different tools that you have, so that you don't need to to worry about how you will connect the app and distribute, how you will make this. For example, so first, you will see here, even for the uh, assemble release, 
even for the accent don't really I have put a variable here and variable. So what it does basically it just do clean assemble release. Cool. You can set as many variables as you want. The advantage of this is that you don't have to modify your pipeline here each and every time and save it. You can just do a quick change here, then run your pipeline. Also, the thing is that if you have some sensitive data or some kind of password you want to save and you don't know how to put it in, the, uh, like you don't want it to be in plain text in your pipeline, you just add a new variable and let's say that my, this is variable is a password and I just want to put the value in the password. The thing is that you can keep this value secret. So once you do this, it is as easy as this. You do, but, but anyone looking at your pipeline won't know what's the password, and any other team using uh, or anyone else using uh, your code, your pipeline won't know what's the value of the password. As easy as this. So you just have to add it. I'm not going to do this here, but this is what I did for the environment. So here, it's a clean assembly release here. Also, the apps log. Apps log is the uh, your it's like your username the, uh, and then slash the app name. What is this? It is used to connect the app center to your Azure DevOps so that you can recognize it. So here you will see that I have put it as variable. Tomorrow I decide to change uh, to do another app. I just need to update it here. Say intro, intro, something like intro two. I just need to update it here. And I just need to click on OK. It will run the pipeline again. I don't have to modify the five variables. Now let's see what's happened. Ah, good news. We see the green tick. When you see the green tick, you know that your build has been succeeded. And very good news. OK, another thing. Let's see what your pipeline has run. What happened to the build? Oh, wow. It has automatically uh, started the next one, the build one, the actual build one. So that's pretty awesome, right? You don't have to worry. Just imagine that you have a commit. You just you made a change to your app. Let's say that you 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 just started in the Android world, and then you made no. Let's take some good example. Let's say let's let's say that you took an app uh, like a finance financial app, and that instead of rupees you have written like euro, and that's that's a big change considering like hundred euro and hundred rupees of you a huge difference, right? So you make this commit and you made it you made a mistake, right? So what will happen? You can easily change it right away. And with a single commit, you change it, the two pipeline will be run. So once the PO pipeline has been run, the build pipeline will run. As you can see here, why I'm talking to you, the build pipeline has been run. It took on it took me only two minutes, three seconds, right? So how awesome is that? So let's see what happened in that. As you can see here, I updated the readme file, if you remember earlier. So here it is. Good. Uh, uh, updated reading file. Uh, it gives you uh, all the information that you need. It was run on master. This is the commit ID. The job was a success. You get the details. Wow. Awesome job. I think my. Uh, yeah. And then uh, you will see here one publish. It means that it has generated an APK and this has been published. It will even give you a path. Good. Where you, as a developer, you can download it and play with it around, right? Uh, just a, a short note: my uh, this application is not signed. This is just an example for the demo, so I will leave it as this only. What's also very interesting is that you can use the same thing, the pipeline, to sign your application automatically. You just need to know your key store and the other details, and then on your pipeline, you don't have to sign your app each and every time again. The pipeline takes care of this for you automatically, thanks to Azure DevOps pipelines. Right, so as a developer, I can download the app from here and then use it. But as an end user for, for someone or as someone like not in the tech and uh, tech environment, like say that I want you to tell my product owner or my business analyst if you or any team or any in one business people to test my app, how will they do this? Because they are not techy people, right? They are not tech. The thing is that this is where once it has been published, this is what's in publish. Let's see what happened. <clears throat> once the pipeline has been run, let's see what happened. Now we are here, we are now here at App Center. App Center is just like uh, like just an any of 
the application center where the app will be published and someone can log in and download. Why we have put I'm using App Center? Because I don't want to, you know, use the platform like Google Play Store or Apple App Store to show you guys here. Even though as from here, from here, you as from here, you can you can distribute it to App Store or you can even distribute it to apps uh sorry to app center to app store to google play store so let's see what happened here an overview oh great so today's the 9th of september i just want to see all of the releases that's pretty nice so if you see here just now at uh, like four minutes ago our app has been released and just now just imagine what we did for this to happen we just did one change one commit and all of this step has been automated good so i'm just gonna try and see what's what's up there yeah oh nice even my release notes is included in this so let's say that your users want to know what's up in the uh, in the new app you even have a release notes so i mean what can you ask for more good so I'm, what i'm going to do now i'm just gonna if i want to test it i just download the app i click on download and then here yeah, it gets downloaded and I can just test it on my app. So since, since this is an unsigned app, I'm just gonna use the one that has been released in debug mode. So let me just share my whole desktop for you guys. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, can one of the first let me know if you can see my emulator on the screen? My Android emulator. Yep, it's on screen yes, right now. Yes, we can. We can Good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. I think you guys are awesome first. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the app debug one because this has been released as you saw, but I'm I'm still gonna uh, install the app debug one because this one is unsigned. As I told you earlier, I'm not going to sign the application. So let me install it and see what happened. This one also was generated from a pipeline from the PR pipeline. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I just install it without showing you guys. Let me uninstall it again. Good. Install it. Now, installing. Wow, that was false. And I open. Good. <laughs> guys, guys. So, one, so one commit, commit on monster, monster, monster. And then, and then you have your app and running 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 and the different so what also good is that you have a lot of options a lot a lot of options. we also we also have this thing called the visual studio marketplace so i would like you that you know visual studio, studio marketplace yeah the marketplace so it has the extension for yeah we just show this was one i think azure marketplace yeah yeah Azure Marketplace, good. So the thing is that you will see in my in my pipeline, you will find different tasks. So what you see here, for example, this one, uh, like I want to automatically increment the different build version. It's done earlier is that each time I release my app, I would manually change it, right? Android developers would know that I have to change it like from version one to version two to three each time I have a release. But we don't want to do this. As developers, we want to be free. We just want to code. I think you all guys agree. We hate meetings. We hate try manual things. We just want to automate everything. So at least I, I want this. So uh, one of these things is that uh, how we can be done in your pipeline. So we add something called a task. It does. Even if it is not available here, you will see how we have a lot of tools. So let's say if I am looking for tools, manifest, it's not available. Even though it's not available here, you can get it from the Azure Marketplace or some, uh, it's not this one, it's like from uh, uh, this one. I will also send you guys the link so that you can find it by yourself. So let's make a quick Google search to see this one. Uh, this market, yeah, 
what this thoughts is about, right? So if you want to add this thoughts, I want to automate uh, 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 how do you say this one, the version of my app. I just Google it and here, ah, I was right. It was the Visual Studio Marketplace on here. Here it is. So it's an and mobile app toss. So you see, what's what's really cool is that even though the toss is not available on Azure here, you can install it from the marketplace. And then it tells you here what it does. You see here, change app version of toss to update the Android manifest file. So this toss helps you to automate the bumping version numbers and changing package state at build times. So you are not limited to what is available. And so this is one of the things that we are, I've been using. So each time we release a new app on App Center here. So right now, if you see, it is 2.0. It keep, it just it is only 2.0. It keeps it stays like this. And you don't want this, right? You don't want to release an app it, where it just says 2.0. You want it to like 2.0.1 or 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, right? And using this DOS here, DOS here, you can do do this. Right now, I've commented it because. Uh, for the demo, I wanted to, to keep it very uh, basic so that you can take baby step and release your own app uh, at once. What's also very good is that one of the other tools that's available, which I found very is that you can generate your release tools automatically. So let's see. Here. This is one of the tools which I found very helpful. Uh, to use with Azure uh, on, on Azure. So I just need to click on get it free, as simple as this. Then it will add it to my Azure uh, platform here, Azure Developer Platform. And then I can use it, as you can see here. As you can see here, you just have to specify, the, uh, you, have, you just have to specify what you want, like what will the output files be, and what you want in the release notes. We have also helped into automating this also, like the build number, what it is, what are the different pull requests, what are the changes in this release. So you don't have to do anything, right? I mean, wow, <laughs> I'm just mind blown when I did this for the first time. So I, I look into this like uh, years back, but I started, you know, implementing this like in the, like in November, 2019. So like around eight months ago, Eight months, nine, ten months, maybe ten months ago. And, yeah. and and what's also cool is that if you now let's say that app uh I've deployed uh I've released the app into App Center, but you you have a Google account or you have an app and you just want to push it directly from your Azure pipeline to the Play Store. So how would you do that? So as I told you earlier, let's see. So the toss is not available here, but you can you can add the toss. You can add the toss. Google Play Store for this. Let's do something else. Let's say that okay, I have my I have my Android app. I was telling you earlier, I want to sign it, right? I don't I don't I don't want to do this manually. So how do I do this? So just go here. I just say that. Oh, sorry about this one. Okay, good, good. Then I just say hey. I want to sign my Android app automatically. So these are one of the tools. So let's try it out. Oh, wow. So here's the APK file. Just have to specify where the root of the app is. Just say, hey, I want to sign this APK. Let me put the key store file. This, you need to do this only once. You don't have to do it uh, multiple times. Remember, once you do this, you don't have to sign it manually ever. Good. So here's the key store file. You put your key store password and all the other information. If, if you want to zip align, you also have the different options to zip align. Here and the, uh, so, and you just click on add. As simple as that, it will generate the code, the code for you to sign in your Android uh, application, and then you're done. So how awesome is that, that you can sign your application, build, build your application, sign your application, connect it with App Center, release it to the Play Store, to iOS Store, all of this with only one commit on your uh, on your repo. I mean, this this is pretty pretty amazing to me when I first discovered this and I wanted to share this with all of you. 
Also, another thing is that once you have done all of this, you have uh, used uh, Azure DevOps, you have on, not only pipeline, you have also have different options that you can you, you can explore. So you can, we can go So we still have a small thing called release. So this one is, is very specific. It says that you can automate your release process in a few steps with a new pipeline. So this one is when, when you want to schedule the release, like say that I want to have a release every day at 5 a.m., at 10 a.m., so that my team can have, actually we need that, so, so that my team, or even my tester, you know, so my testers like to sometimes wake up early in the morning, 6 a.m. to test the app for some reason. So, so uh, what I did uh, what is I, that, uh, first of all, the first thought that came to our mind was like, no web developers are going to release an app for you at 5 a.m. or 5.30 so that you can test at 6 a.m. So the little trick was that we use the release pipeline and every day an automated release at 5 a.m. Would, would go out and the testers would then wake up at 6 and then test the, pipeline, uh, test the new app. So in their mind, they thought that the developers were waking up early, but it was just a pipeline. Good. So as you can see here, it's as easy as just clicking on new pipeline and you can select, uh, you, can, you, you have very, a lot of options. You have, you can develop, you can deploy Java app to Azure App Service, blah, blah, blah. Or you can even just start with an empty job. So let's say that I want to start with an empty job. Cool, I'm, I'm now in stage owner. Nice. I don't know what it means, but nice. Okay. So, just close it and says here what what you wanted to do. You can even add the artifacts. So what's even cool is that the artifacts come from the Azure repos, so you can already select it. You don't have to do anything else. You're just clicking a few clicks. So what's the default branch? I want to for master. I want the latest from a default branch and just click on add. And here you go. Your artifacts are set. And this is what I was telling you about the schedule. So here, I just enable the release. So every day, oh cool, at 3 a.m. <laughs> every day at 3 a.m., it's, go it's going to uh, release a new app for us. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing, right? So every day you, you're sleeping, and at 3, p at 3 a.m., your app is being released, and you're in so your sleep. When you wake up, and someone says, hey, I got a new app. I said, yeah, I woke up early for you to so only so that you can get this up. <laughs> cool. And uh, yeah, so here, and then you can add uh, what you want on the agent. So what you want the agent to do, you want the agent to sign your application, as I said earlier, you just have to click on add here. As is as this, you get, you get this source, then you can distribute it to App Center. I just want this, I click on add. I want App Center to test the app. Again, add. That is when here I go on sign and allowing applicate. I just configure it. I just put my information here, what I want. I want this uh, connection. I want XYZ app slug. I want this, the build version. And then if I want my release notes manually or I want to select it from a file, as is as this. And we are done. We have a pipeline here, which, which can sign and allow your application, your APK. You can deploy it to App Center. And you can also test it. Cool. So I think that we don't have much time left. We have some 10 minutes left. So I'm just going to talk to you a bit about the App Center also. So uh, you will have a little configuration to do here. I'll show you the configuration for the Azure pipelines. So for App Center, just go here. So on here. So let's say that I want to add a new application. So this one is for uh, for uh, intro app. I wanted. You can have as many uh, uh, as many app as you want to on App Center also. So if you click here, I just want this. So I'm just gonna put some this up, this up, and here you choose your release type, whether it's alpha, beta, whatever you want. So it has no such uh, uh, impl uh, like consequence if you choose uh, any other. So I'm just select alpha, then in terms of OS, I'm just gonna use Android. And as a developers know, uh, it's either Java or Kotlin. So the, the, the platform is, is this. I love Java and Kotlin. So add it. Yeah, we have a new app. And all you have to do is then select where the repo is for this app. 
So for instance, it's, it stays on uh, Azure DevOps. So you just click Azure DevOps. Yeah, from time to time, I think uh, App Center will uh, experience some issues when they do some server maintenance. So that's totally okay. So I'm just gonna say personal training, select the intro. And we are done. So we have our master branch connected to this app center. What was the last commit? If you remember in this presentation only, we uh, updated the readme file here. And then here you can configure your bill. You can even build here. So you just have to choose the variant, what's, uh, what you want. You can even specify environment variables. You can sign your bills from here also. You can even test on a real device that's free. So yeah, you can save and build. Yeah, and here I'll just let it build. And then what's cool is that app has been released once your app has been blah 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 you don't want you don't need your your uh, non-tech people to come in here and sign in on app center to understand what's happening yeah technically they have to sign in on app center but what's very nice is that you can distribute your app uh, to groups of people so here let's say that here i have let me see okay i have a group of testers so for right now i'm the only tester sadly i'm the only tester I think I'll ask my team to test this up. So what you can do is that you can just manage and just add a few people here. So let's say that I want to collaborate with Shervin. Shervin, at mcv.nu. I just put in his email, enter, and then I choose his role. He's a developer. He's a developer or manager, blah, blah, blah. So I, I just put him as a developer. And then once the app, has been released. Let's say that Shervin is a non-tech guy. And once the app has been released, the every non-tech guy will receive an email with a link to download the app and to understand uh, what's it. What's also cool is that the release notes are also in the app. So I'm just going to show you how it is in terms of email. So the, even the email is included, like, I mean, Let's see here, Azure DevOps. So this one is the pipeline that the pipeline has been run. Okay, so this one is cool, but what I wanted to show you is for the app center. It is here. Oops. App center. here. See, uh, uh, I, have, oh, I have received mail from app center saying that, hey, a new version of my app is here. So just imagine that your people, your non-tech people, the, the person for whom you're developing, or even the QA, oh, and you, and you that don't that have time, you know, hey, a new release is there. So we automatically receive an email when you click on it. Hey, cool. So the, the nice mail saying that a new version of intro for Android is available. What's the app name for Android? And you can just click on install here. And then the guy just need to install it. And also what's good is that you've seen earlier that I've put my release notes as my first release. And in the mail itself, we will all we will already see what's new in the app. So if, let's say that I change the, the money, like the money currency, the money currency from euro to MUR, like a bug fix. So we will already see, hey, in this release, we have fixed this kind of issue. So you don't have to manually let them know, hey, I changed that. So in the email, they already get it. So yeah, that's here. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, so I've played around with Azure DevOps. Why now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm also very uh, beginner at this. I'm an expert yet. Yet, <laughs> yet is the key word. And uh, I've also played a bit with uh, with a mobile app and everything. So I wanted to share with you guys, uh, like what are the cool things you can do with a single commit using Azure DevOps to release your mobile app. I've also noticed that uh, lately people have been using this to uh, for Flutter. So you can build your Flutter app, then use the same process, the same steps to release your app. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. I'm just going to share this one.
um, if you if you want to talk about you want to talk to me about this if you want or any, uh, any links that you need, uh, please do let, let me know. Uh, I'm available on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn, or you can even have help me also. It's on uh, the MSCC website. So feel free to, to, to come and have a chat. And if, if I can help you to release your uh, Android app, so that would be uh, great. And I encourage every one of you to play around. It is free for to play around. So what I just showed you was totally free. So the Azure, uh, the Azure account I used was totally free. I think they, I signed up on Microsoft uh, Azure and I got a free account. The App Center account is again free. I just signed up. Um, yeah, App Center and Azure DevOps and Video Pipeline. So if any one of you is getting into the Android world or any any Flutter world or iOS already have those, but you've been building, signing, and releasing your app manually, and you want to give, uh, you want to automate this process. I would, uh, I would request all of you to please give this a try, the Azure DevOps, and try to release your app through the pipeline. So each time you have to, uh, each time you make only one commit, and you don't have to worry about this, like you have to build it manually and anything like this. Only one commit is, is enough for you to have your new release and people can enjoy your app. Thanks. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks a lot, JB, for the presentation. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, remarkable how uh, Azure DevOps is streamlined the mobile development process. I'm not a mobile developer, but uh, I found it. I find it to be so quick. Good. So maybe you can give it. Now, you can give some, some a try to mobile development now. <laughs> maybe I can. <laughs> maybe yeah. I can. <laughs> so let's see if we have any questions. Yes, Joshua is asking, what is required for a newbie to get into DevOps? So uh, what you've just seen is that uh, there is not, it does not actually much of technical competencies, right? You need to have a, a good, you need to have some technical background, but not like you, you don't need to be an expert. As I just showed you, I, I would like to show you again. As I, as I just showed you, showed you, oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna put it here, put it here, here, and then I'm just gonna move this. Here. Okay, can you see the screen? Yep, your screen is on right now. You can see it, right? Yes. Okay, good. So for Joshua, that's that's a good question, Joshua, because uh, I had this question too. So many people ask me uh, this question a lot, like if I'm not like expert in DevOps, can I use this uh, uh, this pipeline? So yeah, totally you can because it's as easy as just click clicking a few a few buttons and then you have your app. As I showed you earlier, you can even use a classic editor. So Microsoft, what they did is that they kept the classic editor. If you don't want to go to too much technical details, like using uh, creating your YAML file. You just use the classical editor. What it does, it basically gives you the options. Like in plain English, you can configure. It's as easy as select a source where your source code is. You see here, I use my, my team project, my repository, and what branch I want, and I click on continue. Then just tell you, just say, hey, what do you want to do? I want to, I want to apply this one. I, I just want to build, test, sign, and align my Android APK. Just click on apply. And it does everything for you. It does the bill, it charges the bill, it does the signing and the aligning, it copies the file for you, it but drops it, it even gives you an option to test with Android uh, with App Center or, and also deploy. You can as well as enable this task or disable it. So you don't need any anything like any technical specific uh, competencies to do this. As is as those. Okay, good. Next question we have from 
from uh, Oklu Pravesh. He's saying that uh, when you uh, when you say publish application, do you mean on live in instances? No. So what, what I mean, I mean like I'm publishing my app is, but I'm pushing it to the App Store, Google Play Store, or uh, uh, how do you go for the iOS one, the iOS App Store, I guess, iOS App Store, or even the App Center. This is what I mean by I can publish my app there. I'm just pushing it to the Play Store. I, it means that I already have an account on Google Play Store, and I want to push a new release there, so I can do it via my pipeline. Okay. Thanos has uh, two questions. He wants to see your build Gradle file, and uh, he's asking if you try the security scan packages to find security issues. Good. Thanks a lot. Like. Uh, Thanos has already uh, always those great questions uh, I've been expecting. So um, yes, you can see the Gradle file. We can even have a session uh, one to one so that you can go through it. You can go through it. So I'm just gonna show you here. Where is my group? Okay. If you want to see my Gradle file. Okay. So again, I would like to remind you guys that this is an sample app. So even So, yeah, if you can see my screen, oh no, I'm using the wrong, uh, the wrong project, I'm sorry, just gonna switch to the right project, yeah, it is. yeah, so this is basically, this is a sample app, so I would like to, uh, to let the audience know and Thanos also that this is a sample app. So this is how the Great Alpha is right now for, for the app. And if if uh, if he wants, we can have uh, he, he has my details. He can contact me uh, via LinkedIn, Twitter, or even WhatsApp call, and we can go through this together. And yeah, for a second part of this question, can you repeat again? In terms of security, I think he has a question. Yes, he was trying. Uh, he's saying if you try the, the security scan package to find security issues. No, no, but, but that's a very good su suggestion. I've not yet tried this, but thanks a lot for this one. Uh, I know he talked to me about this once, if I remember well. So I've not yet tried this, but I will make sure to give it a try. Thanks a lot, Thanos. Good question from Thanos. So, last question we are taking from uh, Hernom. Uh, he wants to know if uh, you can plug in some analytics tool on the same platform. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. So uh, you have uh, a service. I've not yet tried it, but I know some of my colleagues have tried to plug in some analytics tool uh, on this, whether on both on App Center and on on the Azure here. So that you can use to get the data that you want. So totally, I'm, I don't have anything. Uh, I, I've not tried this personally. I know my colleagues, my close colleagues, have tried this and it got it got it working and got some pretty useful information that you can leverage upon. I will try to connect with my colleague and get some more info information. Then connect with her now. If you close can give me his information, then I will let him know more about this one. Okay. Okay. Great. I think uh, time is up. Thank you, Javid, for this awesome presentation. Uh, you make me want to try uh, mobile development uh, as well. Cool. I'm happy. At least I got someone uh, yeah. on board. <laughs> so thanks, thanks, guys, for being yeah, awesome uh, first. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for presenting. Cool. I really like we'll that uh, MSC gave us the opportunity yeah. to, 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 to show the world what we are trying also. So I would encourage everyone to give it a try. And next time, we'd like to have more speakers on board also. Ah, OK. It was our pleasure. 
Uh, her name is saying he's he's Koshik, by the way. You you might. Oh, cool. That's that's a buddy of mine. Then I will connect yeah. with him later on. Uh, Cheers. Yeah.